In this pandas tutorial, we're going to learn how to extract year, months, and date values from the dates column. So I'm going to use a data asset, this MTA field usage data set as demonstration. So if I scroll down to the table preview section, so this is going to be the data set that we'll be working with. And here we have this uh, dates column. All right, so I'm going to import a uh, pandas library as PD. Next, I'm going to import the data set using recsp method. And I'll scroll to the top. And I'm going to click on export. Right click on CSV uh, download button. Then I'll grab the link. Then I'm going to pass the link to the recsv method. And if I print DF object, and it's going to return the data set. All right, so here, uh, if we print df.dtypes, the date column is going to be an object data type. And to extract the year, months, and date values from the dates column, from pandas module, there's a class called dates time index class. And basically, this class will look at the values in a column and to interpret the value into the correct appropriate data type. In this case, it's going to convert the values in the date column to a uh, date time format. So if I print uh, the statement here, oh, this should be diff dates. And it's going to return a date time index object and it's going to automatically convert each value as a daytime data type. Now we can take this output and let's name this as date uh, values. Now I can reference the date values. Actually, let's name this to dates column. And I want to create three counts one for year. one for the months, and one for the day. And from the day count object, I can reference the year attribute to uh, extract the year value, months attribute to extract the month value, and the day attribute to extract the day value. Now if I print df object at the end, we now have three additional counts, one for year, one for months, and one for day. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.